you all doing this wonderful freezing cold summer's day listen if you're in england you know what i'm talking about it is cold it's raining the day today is what like the 17th of june and the weather is mm -mm. it's been raining solidly for three days i just uh, Anyway, we did have a few days of lovely sunny weather. If you have never seen me before, my name is JB Rose. I'm a singer, I'm a vegan, and guess what? I'm a mum. And I'm here and I offer lovely vegan recipes for you to try. Really, really easy, really, really simple. That so you don't have to be a vegan. My food is for everyone to try. So, what am I going to do today? Ah, 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 ah. But before I carry on, yes, you know it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We're getting things ready for the release of the remix of my single gold go and pre-buy gold the 2b3 rare groove mix it is lovely it's fantastic it's got a nice little vibe to it you will love it also I had a radio interview with Phoenix FM so I'll show you a little snippet of that now my recipe this week is really simple again this is a special request by one of the my very young viewers I call them veganites that watched JP Rose singing vegan bomb and they wanted a ginger biscuit. So this week is a ginger biscuit, but of course, you know me, my recipe is a little bit more healthier. So guys, let's get into it. Let me show you how I made my gingerbread biscuit. Guys, this is the simplest recipe. We have 150 grams of butter. We have 100 grams of brown sugar, or if you like coconut sugar, which is what I like. And then I have 350 grams of plain flour then I have we're gonna have a teaspoon of mixed spice but we're gonna go really heavy on the ginger we're gonna have three teaspoons of ginger we're gonna have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and then I have grated some fresh ginger on top so it's gonna be really gingery and then we're gonna have a quarter teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda all of this is gonna go into a mixer and come together you can use your hands but I'm not going to do that, I'm going to use the food mixer. And now we're going to mix. So there we are guys and you can just bring it all together it's really nice consistency and we're going to create it into one big ball as we can see it is looking fantastic roll it out into shapes now i'm not sure what shapes i'm going to do so now before I do anything, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to split it in two. I'm going to come back and finish with that bit. And we're just going to roll out. So guys, this is actually going to be gingerbread teddy bears. I'm not sure if I've done teddy bears before. So here we go. Ooh. Then I have a tray that I've already got greaseproof paper on. And Mr. Teddy Bear goes on there. What I normally do is use one of these. That's how I free them. He lost his arm, never mind. There he goes. This is them, they are ready. So now I've got some raisins and I'm gonna give some give them some eyes. And then I'm gonna give them a little nose. Oops. And a bit of a nose. Oh, it won't stay. Stay nose. There you go, two eyes. And a nose.
FM radio. These are these guys, Claire and Rob. And the first 94 elements, hydrogen to plutonium, all yeah. occur naturally. But it does. Course, the, the reason we were doing this is because we have a live guest in the studio. <laughs> we do have a live guest in the studio. Hello, Rob. Hi, guys. That so, uh, so, so extended reality yeah, so as opposed basically, to virtual reality, well, invented reality. So that, my good people, is how I made my lovely gingerbread cookies. Now, of course, you can make your ginger biscuits into whatever shape you want. I did think about doing stars. I did think about doing a smaller star and even a heart shape. Now, as you know, we normally do the taste test, but these days, when it comes to biscuits and cakes, mm-mm. They go, they fly, they literally flew. I have none to taste with you. It is gone, but trust me, it tasted delicious. Now, I'm really pleased that you guys are really getting in touch with me and asking me questions. For example, when I made the cauliflower rice and peas, I could wrote cauliflower rice and peas, cauliflower rice, yes, cauliflower rice. And the saltfish fritters made with the seaweed and much, much more. And most people say the food looks delicious. They're great, but how do I do it? We're gonna have to work on that. Look out, guys, we're gonna do some lives together. I'm gonna get you to get the ingredients and together, live, we will cook this vegan food together. It's so easy. You'll be full, you'll be happy, you'll be healthy. Now, if you do want my recipes, do go over to my website, www.jbrose.co.uk, where I have my ebook over there ready for you to download, only $3.95, and of course, a little bit about me as well. It's great value. Also, on my website, there are small 59p recipe cards just for you to download and follow the recipes. So I think I've done that out, and don't forget the Rare Guru version of Gold is coming out very, very soon. It's going to be available for pre-sale on the 25th, which is next Friday. Thank you so much for the comments. Please keep them coming. Let me know what you want me to do live with you, and of course, we'll get straight into it. For healthy vegan options, I'm your girl. I'm your girl.